What is going on, people? Here is another reminder as Wit is going to be rallied at 4 billion might. Take a look at this man's troop comp. About 16 billion of each T4, some T5, and then a bunch of T2. At the beginning, I've been told that he started at about 200 million troops. That's right. So, here we see that there is pretty much a rally party going on. And uh, from what I counted, we're talking about 10 to 15 rallies. Now, near the end, there definitely were more people that were joining in. But here at the beginning, I'm only really seeing somewhere around the 10 or 15 uh, rally range. And they were all going cast. I was checking it out. And they were all going cast because he had an infantry front line. Now, when I was uh, watching at the start, I did not know if he was in, an, in a phalanx or a wedge because that does make a huge difference as to uh, what you'd have to send depending on the formation he's in. And that actually comes into play later on and I'll pinpoint when exactly this happens. Now, I'm not really sure exactly how many waves I missed, but I tried to edit all of them out here because... Uh, these rallies started to get a little space. You see how some are hitting first and then some are like 30 seconds away and then another one is like a whole other minute away. So they weren't completely timed and in sync but this is just one of those cases where is, as long as you're offline long enough anybody can get zero. We saw it pretty much with uh, when, they, when they were attempting to zero Bren Chong uh, what was it like a month or two ago? Anybody in this game is zeroable so long as you have the troops to try and do it and so long as they stay offline for long enough, okay? Now this guy has really solid gear. Now, did he have talents? Kind of tough to know, but from what I saw, it looked like he did. So here's essentially what the plan um, I'm sure was. He had an infantry front line, so everybody pretty much had to go calves for at least five waves and then once you get rid of the infantry that's where either the phalanx or the wedge co comes into play because if it is a phalanx and he's in an infantry formation that means that he's gonna have calves up front and then range meaning that the range rallies are going to do a number but if he actually ends up being in a wedge that actually will put the range in front and will actually save him from being completely countered because instead of hitting the calves with range, which would be a complete counter, then the best bet would be to hit range on range. And if you saw his gear, his gear had really strong range stats. So yeah, uh, obviously at his might, no matter what he has, his gear is just not going to drop as fast as you would want it to, considering it's 10, 15 rallies each wave. And uh, from what I was seeing, these were rallies that were T4. Um, I think the only one that I caught that were not really losing a lot of might was A2Z. So I don't know if they were sending T4, T2 or what was the deal with that. But pretty much everybody else was full T4 rallies. Uh, a lot of the rally leads that I saw um, from start to finish lost about 100 million might each. So <laughs> that's uh, not, not so so easy to, to lead, especially when you're losing so many troops each time. But if you're a rally filler, and especially if you're only sending 100k instead of 200k, then you're only really losing, what, 40, 50,000 troops each time, which at the end of the day isn't really that big a deal. But when you're rally leading, you got to send 375k, which is quite a lot. So, yeah. Uh, now, this is where I start uh, seeing that the rallies are kind of... They're, they're being a little too spaced out. So, their timing is getting thrown off a bit. Um, you see, this one is, is like a whole minute, minute and a half behind. And then there's another one coming right after it. So, I don't really know what exactly threw off their timing. Maybe it was that they were just so far away that... Um, they, they didn't have enough carpets to keep with the same timer as everyone else, etc. But I don't know then why they didn't try to move closer if that was the case. Because if you're so far away, you could have just, you know, gotten a closer spot. But either way, you see him dropping. 
He's dropping about 100 to 150 million might ish every single time, and uh, that's that's pretty damn solid. Now, one thing that I was kind of questioning also is um, the reinforcements that he was getting. I actually caught some of Tashi's stream while he was doing it, and um, some of the scouts that he got, the, the reinforcements in this guild, I don't think they knew what they were doing. And then, you got a bunch of bots. Look, look, look at this, look at this. Y'all remember when I was streaming and I got invaded by bots? Well, it seemed to have happened here at the worst time. I don't know if this was just this person trying to lag out the kingdom or what happened, but that is actually hilarious, but also not that hilarious to see because it makes you think, wow, okay, uh, if you can do this at any time, imagine if a bunch of people start doing this in like KVK, etc. I really wish IGG would start looking into that and uh, put a stop into it, but regardless, Let's get back to the zero. At this point, I'm wondering, okay, how much infantry does he have? Is everybody still going calves or what's going on? So I'm taking a look at the might drop. It looks like he's losing 10 to 15 million might each hit. Give or take a million or so, depending on how hard the rally leader hits. And um, the question then will be, it'll come down to that phalanx question. If he's in a phalanx, he's going to be hurting big time if he's in a wedge then it's gonna be much harder to zero so these uh Porteous seems to always be the last one to hit I don't really know what's going on there they need to they need to get some carpets or something actually by the way bargain store is out which has carpets I think you can buy eight of the 50% uh, each day which uh, comes out pretty expensive especially if you don't have a lot of gems but if you're in a guild that uh, does a lot of rallying, etc., especially with KVK coming up, you should probably get uh, some carpets uh, to help your guild. Also, here are the bots once again. I really don't understand exactly how it all works, but um, that just looks insane, and it look it just it makes the game look very buggy, and it's something that IGG should really, really address. That'd be great. That'd be great. But anyway, now. He is getting super, super close to losing all his infantry. Now, if you already know, you know that your front line is probably the most important thing in your composition. Because if you lose your front line and you're left with only two troop types, you're gonna be hurting. So, I'm taking a look here to see what everybody is sending. And uh, it seems that most people are still going calves. I actually saw some people go in infantry, which I did not really understand. Like, why, why would you go infantry? did not really understand that at all but uh as long as you're still going calves it means that there's an infantry still in there so these are these are still not doing too much damage but it's he's he's lost uh i believe around 800 million might at this point and once the infantry is gone he's gonna be probably dropping much much faster so yeah wave after wave you just see it here and at this point, I'm really, really wondering, okay, when are those range hits really going to start coming out? Because once they do start coming out, that's when you know that it's going to start hurting. But so far, it's all being cavalry. All cavalry, all the time, which is fine because you need to feed those horses. And uh, yeah, I'm still counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ish rallies. And then there's, there's always a couple of stragglers. So yeah, it's a 12 to 15 rallies, it's about right, it's about right. So he's still over the 3.3 billion might. And I started to think, okay, he's dropping a lot, but he's still 3 billion plus might. So it's not like, even after his uh, front line is gone, it's not like they're just gonna blast through him. He, he, the man still has like over 100 million troops regardless of the composition. Like, yeah, that's not gonna be very easy to go through. And uh, I feel like this is when you start seeing uh, there's, there's not going to be as many cavalry rallies. So, yeah, let's see. He starts at 3.3. Also, from what I understand is that he started at around just above 400 or 450 million kills. So, at the end, we're going to have to see exactly how much he ends up uh, with. But I'm taking a look at everything here. And, yeah, the princess was involved in this. 
And uh, look, they're still going Cavs. I actually saw somebody else going infantry, which I still did not understand why you're sending infantry. But either way, regardless, he's still taking about the same as he has been. 10 to 15 million uh, damage each time. And uh, yeah, look at this. That Okay, that one didn't really do that. They like, what, 8, 9 million? But... It's one of those things where if he does not get online, doesn't matter your might, you are going to be hurting. So now I'm checking, and here we go. Finally, we get the range rally. So I'm thinking, okay, if he's in a phalanx, he is going to start dropping big time. So I start checking, and I'm like, okay, hold on. That's not doing as much damage as I thought. Okay, 55. Let's see. Okay, 49. Wait. Um, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting the range rallies to do a lot of damage, and they're just not really doing a lot of damage. So, what does that tell me? Okay, let's go ahead now and talk about formations and why I've always said that wedges are always better to sit in when you're offline. Especially since it's pretty clear that he was in an infantry wedge at this point. Okay, if you are in an infantry phalanx, you obviously will have an infantry front line. But once that infantry front line is done, you have cavalry up front and range in the back. Meaning that the range is going to absolutely completely counter you no matter what. Now on a wedge, you still have that infantry front line. But once the infantry is done, what ends up happening is, is that now range becomes your front line. So now instead of them hitting range into calves and then having their uh, the wits range in the back, now they're actually hitting range on range and they're not really touching the calves in the back. The reason that's really important is because they can't really go infantry into the range because the cavalry that he has in the back is going to decimate that infantry before it does any significant damage. So your best bet is to go range on range because not only is it going to be a neutral hit, the rest, meaning the calves that he has, are not going to be countering you directly. But because of that, the damage is nowhere as, uh, as much as hitting range into his cavalry. So... Wedges are very very good when you're offline if you're if you're online and you have the right reinforcements Etc, and you know what you're taking then a phalanx is Acceptable and can be very very solid, but I would always suggest if you go on offline go offline in either an infantry or a range wedge stay away from ever anything cavalry related just no cavalry wedge no cavalry phalanx Reason being is because if you're in one of those formations and you get countered with range, that is the absolute worst out of the three to get countered in. Like if you're in an infantry and you get hit by calves, or if you're in a range and you get hit by infantry, it is nowhere near as bad as being in a cavalry formation getting hit by range. So if you're offline, stay away from any sort of for cavalry formation. Only sit in cavalry formation if you know you're getting an infantry hit. Outside of that, stay away from that. So either way, all of these range hits are starting to land. And I definitely, uh, I'm not really seeing the damage being that much sub substantially higher. Considering that he only has two troop types still. Now granted, he has millions and millions and millions of troops so it's to be expected the dude is still three billion might but again if he does not come online eventually he's not gonna, he's not gonna be any sort of billion might he's just gonna be zero so yeah he's at 2.85 his kills have grown exponentially uh but here, okay, here's here's a question that I'm gonna pose to you guys. Are those kills worth it? Because he had pretty low amounts of kills, but now he's got a huge influx of T4 kills. So is it worth it? I don't, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I think I don't think it's it's worth it unless it's on your terms that you're getting the kills. But can you imagine if he was online and he just he just needed a cheaper migration? <laughs> 
Now you're seeing here that he's still getting peppered in with all the range rallies and uh, to be fair he is he has lost about 1.5 billion might at this point and he is still 2.7 oh let's just say 2.8 billion might now i have to spit this one up here because this rally was just taking seven years i don't know if the dude sent like like 7,000 siege or i don't know what it is but that march was absolutely super slow anyway here comes another volley of rallies range rallies at this and actually i was actually still seeing some infantry rallies and you would think that infantry rallies would be uh pretty decent considering they're going into the uh the range but like i was mentioning to you guys you can clearly see which one was infantry because infantry was only doing three four million damage while range was doing anywhere from 10 to 15 million each one so yeah range was definitely the, the way to go in this but unfortunately or i guess fortunately for him i guess depending on how you want to look at it yeah the dude came online and poured it away now i don't know if he was sleeping maybe he was just busy but he actually ended up shielding oh my goodness almost three billion might and shielded but I have been told that if you do not burn, no matter how many troops you lose, you won because you didn't burn. So, great attempt, uh, but unfortunately the dude came online. But yeah, appreciate you guys for watching, and until later, bye!